This is the second trig star question. Notice that it looks like a big obtuse triangle, but really it's two right triangles uh, that share a side. Okay, so since it's two right triangles that share a side, we can use the Pythagorean theorem and SOHCAHTOA, sine, cosine, and tangent. No law of sines, no law of, of cosines. Okay, so it shows me that I have this distance EF, EF here, 101.06. And it also tells me I have two angle measurements, this big obtuse one, EFG. This angle measurement is 118 degrees, 18 minutes, 18 seconds. I wouldn't want to write that in. I got it right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to store that number in the calculator in case I need it. I only have to type it once. Same thing with E or F E G, which is the single measurement E right here. 44 degrees, 5 minutes, and 6 seconds. I'm going to put those things in the calculator. After I get those in the calculator, I'm going to find this first one, measure of angle E G F. That's this G over here. In order to get it, in this large acute or obtuse triangle, angle E plus angle F plus G have to equal 180 degrees. So that's how I'm going to get that angle measurement. And remember, I have to write this in degrees, minutes, and seconds here. So let's pull up this calculator, clear this stuff out, and type in these two angle measurements. And we're going to go ahead and store them. This first one, 118 degrees. In order to put those in there, I need to get to the angle menu degree symbols number one 18 minutes 18 go back to that menu it's number two and then 18 seconds 18 seconds to get the seconds it's not in the angle measure menu you can see I, I don't have that on there so I get back out of this and it's actually right here above the plus sign so I have to hit alpha plus sign and put that in the calculator and then I want to store that thing. Let's store it as F because that's the angle measurement it's talking about anyway. So alpha F. Okay. Now let's do the same thing over here for angle E. Angle E, the measurement is 44 degrees. Five minutes. You don't have to type in that zero. It's actually extra keystroke, so save you some time if you don't type it. Well, not a B. What's that all about? Number two. And six seconds. Alpha plus sign. Store that thing in here as that's angle E here. So store alpha E. Now, we'll, whenever you put angle measurements or side measurements, or you do a calculation and it rounds this off with two decimal places, even though the screen has a rounded off number in the calculator memory, it's stored the whole thing that it that it can compute. So um, you don't have to worry about any kind of rounding errors. Now you wouldn't want to write this angle measurement on your screen, on your paper. Instead you want to always refer to the letters. Okay, and That will prevent you from rounding wrong or having some sort of rounding error. So now I need to get G. So to get G, we're going to add up E and F in the calculator. So alpha E plus alpha F, and then subtract that total from 180. So 180 minus that answer, not 80, 180. Minus that answer, second answer. And I have 17.61 degrees, so let's go ahead and store that in as G. So store alpha G. Nope. Store alpha G. <laughs> How frustrating. Okay, and I will see you in the next video to continue this.